Three years ago, Shamima Begum ran away from her London home with two other schoolgirls and joined ISIS. Now, after giving birth to a baby boy, she says she left the group and wants to go home. One of my biggest priorities is my child, because I left because of him. So I wouldn't want him to be taken away from me. And I'm just trying to give him a better life. She says the terrorist group's online recruitment videos were what initially attracted her to ISIS, along with a sense of security. It was like how they, you know, showed it in the videos, like, you come, you make a family together, and then afterwards things got harder, you know, when we lost Raqqa, we had to keep moving and moving and moving, and the situation got difficult. During the time she was with the extremist group, Shamima gave birth to a boy and a girl who both got sick and died. I'm not starving. I have a roof over my head. You know, before I was sleeping outside and, <coughs> and there was no medical care, so everyone was getting sick. My kids died because of sickness. So, yeah. Right now, she's living in a camp in northern Syria for those who have been displaced. She told Sky News she appealed to the government to help get her back to the UK. Only at the end, like, after, after my son died, I, I realized I had to get out for the sake of my children, the sake of my daughter and my baby. But the question now is, will she be allowed to return and can she adjust? Yeah, it would, it would be really hard, everything I've been through, you know. I'm still, I'm still kind of in the m mentality of Dola, you know planes over my head and having an emergency backpack and stopping all these things. It would be a really big shock to go back to the UK and like start life again. It's unclear at this point how exactly Shamima is trying to get home. According to the New York Times, it may be even more difficult than she anticipated. British Home Secretary Sajid Javid said he would not hesitate to block the return of those who left to support the terrorist groups abroad. Britain's security minister warned that anyone who supported foreign terrorist groups would be investigated and possibly prosecuted if that happens. In Shamima's case, her family said they'll take care of her baby. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.